Well, it's Tuesday, so that must mean there's another old person blaming violence on video games. This time it comes from um, a video game in which it's called Thunderbird Strike. It's a game in which players control uh, a Thunderbird, which is an indigenous mm -hmm. um, mythical creature, and it destroys pipelines while restoring the natural environment. Yes, this is what it looks like. It's actually it's adorable. pretty cute. Um, it is really cute. Yeah, it's made by an indie, it's made by an independent game creator. It was like, made by Elizabeth La Ponce. That's a I, I don't know if it's pronounced French. La Ponce, who is an Anishinaabe uh, indigenous person, but also a game developer and an assistant professor at Michigan State University. And she created this and won actually the award for best digital media at the Imaginative Festival in Toronto last weekend. Well, some people, particularly those in um, the Energy Equipment and Infrastructure Alliance, which is a lobby, a, an energy lobby, specifically an oil lobby, had a problem with this. Uh, Toby Mack, the president of that group, said, A video game that depicts that kind of activity <laughs> has the potential to encourage or plant the idea that that's something somebody should do. That's our concern. <laughs> I love how you changed your voice for oh, this. Oh, did I? Yes, oh. you did. <laughs> This reminds me of people being like, oh, Grand Theft Auto, your teenager's gonna go steal a cop car. Like, no, they're not. You know, this is this is social commentary in a video game. She's using her art to make a social commentary about something that is important to her. And it's very telling that they already jumped on her. It's not a huge video game. First of all, this it's, is, it's an indie game. It's an indie game that most people haven't even played. Yeah. That and nobody even knows about, and this man didn't even play. He didn't even play it. No, that's true. Uh, another person who had a problem with it was a senator from Michigan who had this to say. Uh, David Osmick said, when the legacy amendment to our constitution was approved, no voter could have imagined that our taxpayer dollars would be used to fund video games that blow up high Lines. Minnesota taxpayers expect their money to be invested in Minnesota, not in funding an eco-terrorist version of Angry Birds. Osmic also admitted that he's never played the game, but merely looked at pictures and also a couple reviews, but he still decided it's this dangerous thing that is starting eco-terrorism and shouldn't be allowed by Minnesota. That what bothers me is this was funded um, by the Arrowhead Regional Arts Council Artist Fellowship, and she received that grant to do this. She did this by submitting everything she was mm -hmm. gonna put in the game, and she was granted this. She didn't steal the money, and you can't just pull money from uh, grants just because you disagree with them. I, I did a story last week about someone saying, I'm tired of paying for women going to Planned Parenthood, and it's like, Bitch, you're not spending all of the tax money in America. And furthermore, if I don't get a say in stopping things that I don't agree with, neither do you. So I don't like that attitude of, oh, I disagree with it, so it must be illegal, and we have to like pull all these this money that's already been granted out. Mm. This honestly looks so bad for them. It's like a David and Goliath situation where these huge oil lobbyists are trying to take this away from a very small independent game develop, uh, creator. I, I think it was Mac that said, yeah, that he hadn't played the game. He said instead he read reviews, saw screenshots of the game, because that's the same thing, and looked at the game's website in order to come to this conclusion. And then he decided to like, diminish her and say when she, I you know how I mentioned she was an assistant professor when he wrote about her um, about her in creating the game he put professor in quotation marks as if to say God. oh is she really a professor a the fact that you disagree does not take away her accomplishments does not take away her grant funding this is stupid this is bullshit furthermore I can't I mention this every time there have been so many studies countless that have concluded there is no link between video games and real world violence. People who play video games do not go on to commit violent acts by cause of the video game. This is so stupid. I'm tired of hearing tone deaf old people tell us what video games are and how scared they are of them. You don't know what you're talking about, so don't talk. I totally agree. Most of these people don't even want to go outside anyways. Like if they're like us, so I feel like we're indoor kids and that's how I was raised and that's how I'll continue to be. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter how you choose to live your life if you play this game. It doesn't mean you're gonna go run around and 
That's what I mean. Ride around on a mystical bird and destroy the pipelines. If you can do that, good job. But I don't think anyone can, and I think it's crazy to, to react to this in such a way. It is commentary. You don't agree with the commentary. That doesn't make it illegal or evil. And I'm tired of making this argument over and over and over and over. And I'm tired that these people get a platform to say these things that aren't actually backed by facts. <sighs> Audience. Does Thunderbird strikes somehow make you want to be an eco-terrorist and ride around on a bird and destroy the pipeline and dismantle American values like these people seem to think? I'm so mad. Please let us know below if you're tired of this bullshit too. And please like and subscribe for more.